Problem and fix. Number two for the Chewy Eye Life uh, Robot Vacuum Cleaner V7S. This guy did a very similar thing as, um, as our last problem, where it basically would head forward, start cleaning as if it should do, and then basically just stop and slowly reverse. Now last time it was a little bit more aggressive, jerking, um, and that's how I think you can probably discern between the two problems. If your V7S uh, heads forward, immediately stops very aggressively, jerks backwards and, and flashes with your red light instead of your green light, then you're probably looking at my other video, which I'll have a link for right here. Um, what we're looking at now is a very slightly different problem. It heads forwards, does a very similar thing, however, it's not quite as aggressive in its, in its uh, direction change and stop. It doesn't jerk, it doesn't jump around. It very slowly sort of cruises forward, slowly comes to a stop, and then tries to reverse and again, flashes its red warning, warning, warning lights. So uh, I went through a few different scenarios. I once again checked uh, our first problem, uh, which is obviously this wheel. Please again, check, check the original video. This wheel was fine. Um, I took some hair out of here. There's always gonna be hair, especially in my family. I've got extremely long, messy, ridiculous hair. My partner has long hair. We've got a little puppy who sheds a lot and makes a lot of mess as well. So there's always things stuck in here. Now you, want, you do want to constantly keep it all clean and keep it maintained. What happened this time, I took everything apart, all of the easy, obvious parts to get apart, um, and, and I was still having the same issue. I did take this apart again, as mentioned in my original video. What I then went ahead and did, now make sure your power's off before you do any of this sort of thing. Um, what I then went ahead and did was I took the battery out, which is under this cover. I took all of these screws from the edges, uh, these two to hold your front sensor on. So you just carefully take those off and, and carefully maneuver your sensor out. I did take it down to bare bones. My theory was uh, there must be something caught in the wheels and that's what's, that's what's going on. And I do genuinely think that that is gonna be an issue in the future at some point. You can sort of see when you shine a torch in this gap, you can see bits and pieces sort of stuck in their hair, mostly my hair. Um, so taking it apart, there was no real easy way of getting the wheels out to, to service them. Even when I was, I did have access to sort of the axles. There's a screw in there. I used some industrial strength uh, thread breaker to, to try and loosen it, but it, I think it's thread locked in. I think it's locked in. Uh, it's, sorry, glued, like a, a, it's a thread glue that, that uh, you use to basically put a screw in to make sure it never comes out. So I think that's what's going on there because I was just rounding the screw every time I was trying to undo it. So what I did was uh, probably not necessarily advised. I used a drill, very crude. I wish I kind of had a Dremel to, to have made it easier. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that there. But um, I basically used a drill, drilled a, drilled a nice hole straight through this plastic casing um, and then carefully used some, some tin snips to, to clip away enough that I could get some tweezers in there and pull all the hair out that I could. So I kind of half thought that might have been the fix. Put it back together, same thing. Uh, at this point I was starting to think maybe there's an actual problem with a sensor because all the sensors have been cleaned, they're all functional, nothing's obviously damaged, there was no wire breakages or, or any visible issues, issue, issues on the board, so I was thinking actually there is a fault, there's something that's actually gone. Uh, and that's when I sort of thought, right, let's have a little closer look. Now, now this is how simple this is. Right, and I will, yeah, I, I will actually put a link to skip to this point. This is exactly how simple this is. We're gonna go ahead and do exactly what we did in my first video, my first fix on this. We're taking this cover off. We're taking this little guy out here. Now we're gonna clean all this off, obviously, as we do, blah, blah, blah. Now that is the answer right there, guys. This, I did not realize, actually came off. This little, little tiny housing here sort of sits, you know, it's all, it's all good, it's all together. This little part here, hop her off, have a look at the freaking mess that you're gonna have to clean under there. Now, it's, honestly, actually, I make that sound very terrible. It's not that hard to clean. It's a case of pulling hair off, throwing it aside, putting it in the bin. This ends up getting extremely clumped up. It makes this, which should spin smoothly, it, it completely seized up. 
and so that's what was actually tricking tricking the little rover. Everything else was spinning smoothly and still continues to. Um, always before you clean, make sure you check everything does spin and move without uh, without resistance. Certain things like this are attached to a motor, so make sure you spin it the direction uh, uh, can't, uh, sorry opposite direction that the motor spins, and that way you won't be finding the magnets as hard. You, you know you'll, you'll feel the magnet resistance, but you won't. You shouldn't feel it actually seized. You, you'll feel there's a magnet, there's a magnet, there's a, you know, it's just a motor. So uh, this part here should spin 100% smoothly. And once you've done that, put it back together, bang, 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 turkey will fly. So I hope that helps, guys. Uh, any questions, anything else that comes up in the future, any other issues, let me know. I'm, I'm going to try and get as much life out of this bad boy as I can because I hate vacuuming. So if you have any further questions or issues, let me know and hopefully we can sort them out together and we'll, we'll keep our eye life alive. Thanks again, guys. Peace out for the next video. Bye.